<laughs> so, um, I'm, now we're going to talk about antioxidants and oxidative stress. And I thought, well, let's actually visually demonstrate how antioxidants work in the body and oxidative stress. So oxidative stress is basically um, the process of your, you have essentially charged particles in the body that need to be cleaved. And when they're not cleaved, it creates free radicals and those free radicals create oxidative damage. So you can never outrun oxidative stress because the more, the more say for example, antioxidants you have, the more charged particles you have in the body. So it's always this thing of you're chasing oxidative stress out of the body because you can't, that those particles need something to be cleaved. So to, to make that make a bit more sense, say I'm cold. If I'm cold, I'll grab Erwin's beanie. But now he doesn't have a beanie. So then he grabs Andrea's scarf, but she doesn't have a scarf. So she grabs Amy's jacket and Amy doesn't have a jacket. So she grabs Brent's jumper. Brent doesn't have a jumper. So he grabs, uh, you know, Cam's vest. And the cycle just continues. Uh, you, you can overdo antioxidants, absolutely. Um, and the more antioxidants you add, um, essentially they're things that need to be cleaved as well. They need to be charged particles as well. So if I have this apple and I cut open the apple, right, oxidative stress starts to occur. So if I leave this apple here for say an hour or so, and we'll come back to it. What's gonna happen to one side of the apple? Brown, they're gonna go brown eventually, right? But if I have this lemon, and that's oxidative stress, okay? Sorry? I might need a sharper knife or I might not just need to man up. <laughs> That's not a knife. <laughs> right? So I'm manning up. Get and there. and uh, there we are. If I pour lemon over this, what's going to happen to this apple? <laughs> so if I add lemon to this, someone just be able to grab me a tea towel. Um, so this side is what? What's going to happen to this side? And what's going to happen to this side? No, no brown. Eventually it will go brown, but it's going to be a lot slower. Why? The, because of uh, there's vitamin C in the lemon. Um, there's antioxidants in the lemon. It's going to slow down the oxidative process in the apple. So thank you very much. So oxidization is going to occur at a much slower rate. Can I put too much lemon on the apple? Of course I can. Yeah, it can destroy it, right? Essentially, you know, this is already going brown. This is, you know, staying. Uh, a nice color, but the antioxidants in that um, are preventing the oxidative stress. So it's the, the, the free radicals are being now uh, neutralized with the vitamin C, and that's basically what your antioxidants are. So when we talk about antioxidants, a big misunderstanding um, that goes along, and we usually, a lot of people, and I see this with trainers particularly, is they think of antioxidants as either like vitamin C or they just think it's like vitamin E and exclusively as one or the other. Something that you really need to know is that you have hydrophilic and hydrophobic uh, particles in the body and you have hydrophilic and hydrophobic nutrients in the body. So for example, um, hydrophilic as the name would relate to, hydrophilic uh, um, particles that love water. Um, hydrophobic, like being phobic of something, are particles that hate water. So you can imagine, right, if this is the body and this is the, I suppose, chemical processes, so I cut this orange or eventually unpeel it, I just need a man up here because I want it to sink. If I put it with without the with the wrapping on, it won't sink. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Yeah. Oh, this is a real. <laughs> this is a really juicy uh, orange. So, all right, great. That's that's sunk. That's not exactly what I wanted it to. Um, so the vitamin C, you have basically um, antioxidants that are hydrophilic. They love water. Your hydrophilic uh, antioxidants are vitamin C and your B vitamins. So they, they love water, they're water based. But the thing is when you're doing like say detox with someone, you need to understand that you can't just have uh, hydrophilic, you need to have also hydrophobic. So hydrophobic particles, as you can imagine, and hydrophobic antioxidants are your fat soluble. So that's gonna float. It hates water, hydrophobic hate water. So that sits at the top. That sits at the bottom. Now the way these two communicate each other is very, very simple. So if this is a toxin, right, this goes inside the body, what's gonna happen is the fat soluble, which is your vitamin A, D, K, E, they're gonna uh, basically encapsulate the toxicity or the toxins in the body. It's gonna encapsulate. And then the butter is gonna pass it on to the water soluble. The water soluble, 
just imagine I didn't do that, is then going to be able to... There's, there's the toxin, right? It's a good analogy, right? <laughs> the water soluble is then going to be able to pass it through the body. But this is where you understand that the, the event, eventually, uh, you know, if we squished up the orange, we're going to pee through a lot of that and there's going to be no more, I suppose, vitamin C and vitamin B. With the fat soluble, it just continues to accumulate. Right? It doesn't really go anywhere because it's hydrophobic. So you need both. Oh, look at that. Look how brown that is now. The oxidative stress. Um, this is why antioxidants are very, very important, but they can't be overdone. One of the most common ways that you can do, overdo um, or create oxidative damage is how? Fatty acids. So having too many fatty acids in your diet, even like omega-3s, for example, you can overdo omega-3s. I know there was a big movement um, for a while around you know, dosing, super dosing, um, fish oil, for example, but you have too much fish oil, it's going to create oxidative damage as well. So you can't do too much of anything because there's always going to be a benefit and a drawback to each. But um, yeah, oxidative uh, fats that oxidize, um, you know, are going to create oxidative damage. Um, and then again, you're going to need more antioxidants.